Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... I wore khakis exclusively until I moved to LA. This is his heroin and tiny dick magazine. <laughs> Hose water is underrated. I'm 40 years old now and I finally understand your 25 year old style. Let's go! Woo! Pew, 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 pew! pew. Oh boy! Ow, 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 ow! Pew! <laughs> okay, pew. wow. <laughs> Are you shirtless right now? Oh, uh, no, you got a little tank top. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. There it is. Let's go, baby. Now, have we covered that? Is that K-Fed's voice? Or is that somebody else that was in the studio saying Popozel? Like his best homie, the wild guy? Yeah, is that somebody that's just doing ad-libs, or is that him? Yeah, it's just it's just his homie, uh, <laughs> Derek. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Derek, come in here and yell Popo Zao for me. Yeah. <laughs> Derek, s- yeah, s- say Popo Zao how you say it. You do it the best. <laughs> little little half dead? Yeah. You do it the best. Yeah, let me give it a shot. Popo Zao! <laughs> Thanks, Derek. That's hard to tell. I don't know if that's K-Fed or not. No, that's K. That's got to be K. Okay, 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 cool, cool. <laughs> it's Britney. <laughs> <laughs> it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brittany. Oh, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Uh, I'm rewatching Entourage as I do when I have a lot of downtime. I rewatch Entourage. Uh, uh-huh. You know what I mean? I feel like you're always. How many eps are they? How many eps is in the whole thing? It's a, there's a lot, dude. There's yeah. like seven seasons. And by Damn. the time you get to season five, it's like it's like you're clocking in to go to work. You're like, Jesus yeah. Christ. I, I, Fuck. Come on. Vince, get, it, get your shit together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no joy. No joy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but just thinking uh, thinking about, yeah, you're just going to work. And, you know, because we're on strike, so I have all this downtime, so I'm like just kind of watching shit to <laughs> fill the time. And you, di- I, you, I guess I kind of forgot the early 2000s like had such a specific look because when you're in it like we that's when we first moved to California or first mm-hmm. moved to LA and we were young we were 18 years old uh, uh yep. you know living living in sunny socal and you forget that there was like a true vibe in la can i tell you something please jers <laughs> hmm. I, I knew it had a vibe because i was fighting it so hard you knew it had a vibe i was fighting against the vibe i was fighting against the vibe so hard you were aware of the vibe i love this what was the vibe Durs? i feel like you were you were the one that i was like i'm tapping into Durs to get some of the vibe because him and his friends have the vibe no but if you think about that my yeah. friends had the vibe but think about me did i have the vibe and we, we had no vibe we yeah well what vibe are we fucking talking about because just the entourage vibe? The, here's the the vibe. The the early 2000s Los Angeles vibe, Kyle. Yeah, like the MCR vibe. You remember it. We didn't have it. Because I was MCR vibe. I was like My Chemical Romance vibe. Is that what you're talking about or no? <laughs> we did not have the vibe. Right. That's a San Diego thing, isn't it? I started to get the vibe. If you're talking about like American Apparel, I started to get the vibe. I fought the vibe as as long as I could. Blake, Blake always... We'll get a vibe wherever wherever he is. He <laughs> seeks out the vibe. He changes his whole look to be part of that vibe. The vibe was boot cut jeans. Okay, go off the vibe. Okay, boot cut. What does boot cut mean? What does boot cut mean? It was expensive denims. I feel like it was expensive denims. It was expensive boot cut that denim. Like, oh, G Star Raw. It was V neck <laughs> t shirts and it was trucker hats. It was it was Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> I was on that vibe. That's life. <laughs> you weren't on that vibe. I, I was on that vibe. Y'all are tripping. You think you come in here and you uh, tell me that I'm not a part of this vibe? You weren't on that vibe. Kyle, you were on the truck stop version of the vibe. Okay. Right. Like the vibe was happening at like a high level of like <laughs> the truck, the trucker hats were like a hundred dollar tr- dumb trucker hats. And you were, he had trucker hats. The Like the, the Von Dutch, Adam, you weren't aware of like the Von Dutch, especially coming from the Midwest. I was super aware of the vibe. And I was like, fuck, like, yes, Von Dutch was a vibe. Ed Hardy was a vibe. Dude, Kyle, you didn't have the vibe. You literally wore corduroy women's pants from the Salvation Army. The same pair every day, dude. Mm. 
Mm. Well, that's no pockets on the butt. He, I think you still right. probably have those. <laughs> Sounds like a vibe to me. That's a vibe. That is a vibe. And I did draw on my own trucker hats. That wasn't the vibe. I drew no. on my own trucker hats, though. So I was trying to participate in the vibe. And also just the <laughs> watching entourage. It reminds me of like what celebrity was like in the early 2000s with oh it was a vibe different it was a vibe as <laughs> as you put yeah yeah the end it's like with like tmz like everywhere and paparazzi truly being a real thing i feel like right paris hilton there still is paparazzi but it's less of a it's less of a clamoring for mm-hmm. and is that because people are social just media. on social media yes yeah yes yeah we yeah, the, you don't we took the power back. And you're like, oh, yeah, we've seen them. Now they take photos of themselves and everyone's got cameras at, at restaurants. You don't have to do it. But also, like, everyone has cameras now. True. True. Right. People used to people used to have to run around with cameras to be like, I got them coming out of uh, the Ivy restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Viper Room. And now everyone is just like, yeah, no, I, I got them, too. It's not yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Right. Um, right. For better or worse. Saturated. So the vibe was saturated. Is that what's up? We saturated mm. it? It's saturated with photos? We've watered down the vibe? Yeah, it was a satch, satch vibe. Mm. Yeah, satch paparazzi. And that's why there's not really a vibe anymore because people, uh, they, they already, they, they're out in themselves. We're vibeless. Yeah. We're vibeless. We've, we've wow. reached a vibeless time. Well, to I feel uh to harken back to Angus McLeod who passed, right? Um is that He had a vibe, right? He yeah. well he had a the, someone Also harken. Always harken. S- someone posted a clip of him uh from the show where they're like you're not on social media and he's like no, like like you, you, you know, why would I want the scraps of somebody just posting stuff when like I want to peel them apart like an onion and like discover the mystery? And uh, I think that that hits correct. Yeah, yeah. Dude. So who's the onion in that? What are you talking about? <laughs> this this kid, the kid from Euphoria uh, who just Angus Cloud. He's... Yeah, I just heard about this. I who just uh, passed away. Yes, I didn't watch that show at all. Did he? W- do we know how he died? Was it <laughs> drug related or was uh, it health or... related? It sounded like a drug related. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was dealing with some uh, mental issues, some health issues. And, mm. um, yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, total bummer. But like, but he called it out. I mean, whoever wrote the show called it out. But he, his character says it where it's like the mystery's gone with social media. Like everyone's yeah. just saying everything. So you're like, don't you have any like, uh, like keep it to yourself. I don't really care about like. Yeah, right. I've got a fucking rash in my ass. <laughs> anyway, come to see my movie, Mission Impossible 3, Dead Reckoning. Totally true. <laughs> totally true. It, you know. Yeah, I guess I guess paparazzi isn't catching anyone <laughs> anymore because everyone's just like outing themselves. Yeah. So like, hey, I'm out here cheating on my wife <laughs> with right. this hooker. Right. <laughs> right. Fuck it's it. on anyway. my, I'm at the Ivy fucking this hooker. My Insta Live. Be sure and tune in. <laughs> I'm going to get tune ahead in. of it, y'all. I'm going to be real honest. I just. Dude, people. Yeah. CSI Phoenix coming out. <laughs> Check out for F- F9. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get ahead of it. I just shit my pants and cheated on my wife. Is all G, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you see Transformers Seven. <laughs> Change the narrative. We got control of this. Okay. <laughs> I'm purposely dive bombing. It's all good. Oh yeah, I don't God. know, dude. It was kind of weird. I guess it's. It's. I was just saying, like, sorry. Go ahead. But I'm just like, <laughs> no, no, you go, no, you go, no, okay, you, go. you go, no, it's Blake? fine, you go. It was literally no way of telling what was cool at all. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I ever saw a Vice magazine, and it blew my fucking mind. Like the fashion I saw in it. I remember you loving. Vice magazine. And the guy that started it ended up being a white supremacist. What do you say about that, Blake? Adam, it's Blake's favorite guy. Oh, no. Everybody <laughs> everybody who had anything to do with Vice magazine turned out to be like total scumbag scuzzards. But the actual, the magazine was... It, I, it was just the fashion I saw. All I knew was like Billabong and Quicksilver. And then when I saw yeah. that, I was like, holy shit. Because... Well, yeah. You're from a deep, you're from a deep suburb with mall culture, which is fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like that's most people. And then mm-hmm. when you mm-hmm. tap into like a little something a little more niche, 
you're selling t-shirts for ten thousand dollars too so i didn't realize vice i every time i looked at vice it was just like people doing <laughs> heroin and like uh little dicks yeah it was fashion <laughs> vice was fashion and like uh i i don't remember it being fashion i just remember it being like seen little penises and and it was alt news or something it's called it's culture it's fashion it was, music and culture yeah it just it, it was music too i i guess i don't even remember i just remember it being news like but i guess that's after the first wave no you're thinking of the tv show nope that's vice news you're thinking of the tv show we're talking about that <laughs> magazine that blake used to uh have at the workaholics house Beat or even before then i think uh at the um the house on Packard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. We had, he had that little magazine. I remember looking at it a few times and being like, Oh, here's a man doing heroin. Here's like a guy's dick. I don't right. remember okay. fashion. I remember just thinking That's like, fashion, oh, Blake, this is his, this is his heroin and tiny dick magazine. <laughs> that Blake yeah. was at. Blake. I don't Blake. remember there being fashion. What was the fashion? They're, they're, they were like, well, if you got past the dicks and looked at what shirt he was wearing, it was pretty cool. Uh, no, that's that's rice. <laughs> And like photography and skating, there's it was a uh, yeah it was it was counterculture yeah it was yeah I kind of remember the skateboarding element because you also had the CCS magazines coming in which was like oh, skate dude. decks and fucking skate clothes that that mm-hmm. used to be my favorite CCS was so legit that was like yeah. before zoomies and all that when you would actually get like the skateboarding catalogs and they had just, yeah just like flip through like jeans and shit it was so cool dude think pants bro I want to think pants so bad. I remember going to like, uh, <laughs> what was that store that that was Fuck. like? It was basically Pacific Sunwear, but super to pants, bro. Think pants, <laughs> super SoCal. What was it? Trillies? What Tillies? Tillies. Yeah, dude. I remember going to the Tillies yeah. for the first time, and it was just like all Southern California type clothing, <laughs> and just being a boy from the little kid from the Midwest moving there, and like be, I'm wearing like a polo or some dumb shit, and I'm yeah. like, yeah. polos are okay. <laughs> this is the way. I'm like, God, thank God, I'm ready to cash in here and just become SoCal. Polos are sick. You were all uh, famous stars and strapped up. Yeah, I'm just wearing like Dickies, Dickies shorts. That's fucking MCR. That feels MCR to me. Like famous stars and Strat feels my chemical romance to me. Is that? No, that was Travis Barker's company. I feel like Tilly's kind of started to lean on bro. Durs, you're you're lost. (laughs) I'm like, I know it's Travis Barker, but I'm I'm saying like they feel like the vibe is still in the same kind of thing, right? I mean, famous stars and straps was like punk culture. Yeah, yeah, it was around the same time. I feel it was like pop punk, pop punk shit. I feel famous stars and straps was more. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, my chem- chemical romance was more gothic in a way. Yeah. Oh, the Mac- oh, Ma- macabre, Ma- <laughs> macabre, macabre, <laughs> macabre. I'm a dude. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, my chemical romance probably was more like yeah, like a uh, hot topic. Emo? Weren't they yeah. more emo than goth? Yeah. It's emo. It's yeah. like it's like the hot pink van stripes, you know? Like I'm not even in this world. But I know there fashion. <laughs> I know fashion. You missed you missed a really cool boat, man. Well, you never jumped on you never jumped on skate or surf culture, right? There is you're mostly outdoorsy mountains. I don't know what Tilly's is. When I moved to LA, I definitely bought yes. rainbow rainbow sandals because I was like, "Oh, That's these cool. are super duper comfortable," and I rocked those hard. Uh, but no, never. Um, f- I was not a poser like Blake. No. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I stay strapped up. Yeah, I know. With what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I just was like, "Am I gonna dress like a skater that doesn't skate?" No, dude. I like that Durst just called Blake a poser, and then he says, "I stay strapped up." Honestly, yeah. like, what? What does that mean? Yeah, <laughs> famous stars and strapped. What do you mean? I. That's what I was talking about. Jesus. Yeah, that's okay. I, <laughs> I think I had a stars and straps belt. I would never dress like a culture that wouldn't have me, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Blake, come on. I've seen Blake skateboard before. 
what are you talking about? Uh, well, that being said, dude, uh, that being said, I I definitely <laughs> am not a skateboarder. I don't surf, and mm-hmm. I wore all that shit too. So I, I I'm with you, Blake. Yeah, you're a poser. Yeah, but you got even more of a vibe because you're not like outwardly projecting the vibe. So we it works on you. It doesn't quite. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Mm-hmm. What are you guys even talking about? I didn't wear a lot of. St- I don't know. I think my friend. I think my, my friends Anders and Kyle are kind of <laughs> shitting on you, Blake, and your whole vibe. I don't know. I don't get it. But I had one zero. I had one <laughs> zero shirt. I the zero skateboard made cool graphics. What are you talking about? You saw me and you thought no. I was dressing aggressively skateboarder on I, I thought you were, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> this, these are your I'm words. Man. I'm like, what? I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying anything. You're telling me where you shopped and what you bought, and so I'm like, great. Those are like skater gear, but you're not a skater, and I guess that's fine. But I wouldn't do that. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. What kind of jeans was I supposed to wear? CCS or nothing, dude. Think think jeans, uh, I, dude. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I stay strapped up. <laughs> Have you heard of Levi's and Strauss? <laughs> yeah, he stays strapped up. <laughs> I mean I always did like Wranglers? I don't I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Should I wear Wranglers? Come on. Sure. What's wrong with <laughs> Wear some Tommies. Just wear some Tommy Hill figures, bro. Dude. What's wrong with that? <laughs> No, not Wranglers, because you're not... <laughs> Dude, just... just You're not a fucking uh, rodeo boy. The fact that there's not Lucky stores all over anymore, like <laughs> they've disappeared. Adam was the first guy I ever saw rocking Lucky, and Dude. he showed me, like, the fly. That's because of the Grove... You got to get the you got to get the lucky jeans and then the fly on the inside says lucky you which <sighs> such a move fuck a move dude Are you saying the only jeans I could wear were Kirkland jeans because that's like non affiliated with any sort of subculture like what is a neutral jean What are you talking about that's the best subculture <laughs> Thrifty. Do, I, do I need to say Levi's one more time <laughs> Well Levi's Levi's yeah Levi's Wrangler <laughs> What is happening? Yeah, Levi's the- <laughs> jeans. Uh, for me, that's associated with gang members. I don't know. <laughs> Stay strapped up. <laughs> yeah, but associated with gang members, you don't know. Stay strapped up. You don't know those gang members, but you stay strapped up. Okay. I'm still going to send it. Um, I, I just love that you're like, yeah. what is a jeans brand that I could possibly <laughs> wear <laughs> when like Levi's is so synonymous with just blue jeans? <laughs> That, it's yeah. crazy to me. <laughs> they didn't have the. They were late to the skinny jean party though, and I was on that, dude. Come on, like yeah, Blake. Blake oh, yeah. always had the skinniest <laughs> jeans. You you were definitely on that. I'm a jerk. I know you're a jerk. I know. <laughs> New boys, come on, dude. I feel like uh, uh like our crew didn't take I'm a lot here. of big swings. <laughs> I mean, we took some swings, but sometimes yeah, you we... look at photos of like when people when you see like millennial gifts of pe- mm-hmm. people like. Uh, we're gonna have to tell our kids we went through this phase, and then yeah. it's just like bangs in front of the your eyes and like super emo, like yeah, whole scene. None of us rocked a faux hawk. I'm glad none of us went that hard down down that path. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a big swing guy. I just kind of wait every 20 years for my style to kind of be back for a few months, mm-hmm. and then they're back, <laughs> and then I go back like a cicada. Or a locust. I think that's why we all thought you were way older than you were, because you always just sort of dressed like you were a young dad, and yeah. you were like twenty three years old, and yeah. we were like, eh. "I'm like forty years old. I'm forty years old now, and I finally understand your twenty five year old style. Like, I feel yeah. like yeah. I can wear what you were wearing when you were twenty five. Yeah, dude. I was wearing like old New Balance old man shoes, and I was wearing like polos and. uh I would spank strange strangers' kids <laughs> in the mall. <laughs> like nice, like yeah, like nice shorts. You were wearing like Dockers. Hey, you don't run in here. You were wearing Dockers or something, weren't you? Like uh, I wore I wore khakis exclusively until I moved to LA, and I was like, I gotta fucking like get a pair of jeans, or I'm not gonna be able to get into a bar. Fucking <laughs> jeez. Oh no, man! Yeah, yeah. You know, and then what? What kind of jeans? It sounds like you dressed kind of like AG jeans. You dressed kind of Christian, but you're not about it. So maybe you're the poser, brother. 
unless you could quote a verse in the Bible with those khakis on. What? <laughs> What's up? I feel like just more like a, a preppy style, and I feel like a, as a swimmer, as that's one of the country club sports. So I think I'm 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 playing my part. Yeah, hey, fine. You, you did it right. I think you are. I feel like you're not posing. I, so why don't you play your part? I feel like this is all like kind of focusing in on Blake's like inability to figure out where he actually sits. Yeah. <laughs> where, Who I am? Fuck off. He actually lands say? in yeah. fashion. Like, what am I? Well, now now he's <laughs> ingratiated himself into the Good skate word. culture with his mm -hmm. friends, you know, Atiba and that whole yeah, clique. Mike. So now he's so in deep that no one can tell he, he doesn't know how to stand on the skateboard right. or or do sick kick flips or what have you no one could tell y'all are fucked up man leave me alone <laughs> yeah and adam just needed to fit in and i i like blake you're from california um, right you know right. so i Dude. skate skate culture has permeated uh this culture out here on the west coast but you were late to skate you you weren't really skate. You weren't skate culture in high school. You did it once you moved to L.A. when you were in the the mecca Me? of cool. Yeah, when you when you were in the mecca of cool. Yeah. What was your What was your vibe in? I tried to. What are you talking about? I tried to skateboard in. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Did you skate in high school? I don't remember you skating at all. What was your vibe in high school, Blake? What was your, like, uh, how did you dress? I tried to. I'm not good at skateboarding. I want nothing. The two things I've ever wanted to be in my life mm -hmm. is either a professional basketball player or a pro skater. I think those would be the coolest lots in life. Basketball. Basketball, you definitely sat in basketball like senior year in a major I just, way. I remember that. And you're not sat <laughs> in basketball? Yeah, I just didn't have it. I didn't have it on a board. I wasn't good. Like you played, I fucking suck. And you're not good at mm. e e either of those things. What What was your thing that you were good at then? <laughs> He's good at basketball. Chill out. Dude, I will dunk on you. Bro. Chill out. He's fucking <laughs> good at basketball. Chill on your boy, bro. No, he's not. He's he's pretty good. <laughs> he's fine. Is he good? <laughs> no, he, he is. He can, he can. No, no, no. He can't go to a gym and like play in a legit game. I've played with him. He's. What are you? You, Dude, you guys fine. never see me on a court. Yes, we have at Workaholics office. Adam has. Adam has. <laughs> yes, I have. When's the last time you? Well, yeah, we have actually been on a court with you. <laughs> wow, man. What is this? We have. Uh, you're not good. I wouldn't say you're good. I. I mean, you can dribble a basketball, <laughs> yeah. and you can. I'm logging off. <laughs> I you broke know. my back, dude. I used to be really good, and then I broke my back, and it derailed that dream. I remember before you broke your back. I played basketball with you before yeah. you broke your back. We've known each other a very long time. Wait, Adam, when we all used to play, when we used to play basketball in like 2002 on the beach in Newport, Blake was actually pretty, he was a solid player. Okay, thank you. No, no. Do you not remember that? Like for you guys, like in your friend group. Yeah, no, I remember, and he wasn't. Well, what am I? What am I saying? I'm not saying go up against Michael Jordan. <laughs> I'm saying like he's a. <laughs> None of us were good. I'm no. I'm not saying. Okay, so yeah, there's your friend group and Michael Jordan, <laughs> yeah. and nothing in between. TK was Rarely. the best at basketball out of all of us, and he also isn't. Don't let him hear this. That good. <laughs> Right. You know what I mean? Like, you think TK's the best at basketball out of all of us? I'm not letting him have that. <laughs> There's no way. Well, genetically, we're sm we're all small. We're all small. We're never going to be basketball players. Like, the genetically, you have to be a certain height to be a, a good basketball player. Do you? Not true. I don't know. Aren't you like six foot one? Yeah, you're over six. You can play. That's, that's how tall. No. God, no. Chris Paul is. Wait, what? How tall are you? I thought you're six one. No, heavens, no. Wait, I think I'm like five eleven. No <laughs> way, you're up over six, dude. What? I don't. He's not over six. I don't think he's dude, over. I like you. You've said <laughs> I'm definitely not six one. I'm definitely not six one. I I like that you've said you're six feet tall. <laughs> I gave you an extra inch. You've said six feet tall the entire yes, time sir. I've ever known you. I think he's six feet. Now you're making yourself shorter. <laughs> I think so too. To give yourself an out for not being good. <laughs> I broke my back and I lost an inch, man. What are you fucking talking about? That's true, dude. He has no idea where he fits in. <laughs> All right. Hey, wait, real quick about the height <laughs> and ability. Height and ability. I'm a theater major. <laughs> I know you are. You're a comedian. That's why the skaters love you, because you're funny. 
What do you guys think? See, that's where you fit in, Blake. That's yeah. where you fit in. <sighs> Drama? The skaters <laughs> skaters love yeah. comedy, bro. Look at it. Look at it. You're in you're in with the right crew. You're there. Yeah, they do. Dude, leave me the fuck yeah. alone, guys. What the fuck? They need a funny guy cracking jokes. I, pivot pivot pivot. This isn't important. <laughs> do you guys think that a league <laughs> this shit's not this, important? An un- do you guys think an under six three basketball league would be able to take off in a major way? That's kind of cool. Short basketball. That's a really good idea. Because do you know how many unbelievable, unbelievable basketball players there are under six feet that are just like, I can't play because I can't shoot over a fucking six, seven foot center or whatever, right? For sure. Mm. But if everybody's under six three, I bet the game's way more athletic. Mm way more exciting. Well, there's a bunch of professional basketball players that are 6'3". Like Chris Paul is like 6'2". I'm not I don't I don't disagree. I don't I know I don't disagree, yeah. but Right. But if it were capped, if it were capped, what you're saying Chris Paul is an extraordinary um example of somebody who is not that tall but can excel in that league, but there's thousands and thousands of absolute ballers that are like Six feet tall. I think it has to go shorter. I think you have to say if you're short basketball, you have to say it's six feet and under. Yeah, but now, now you're like, who the fuck's playing this? <laughs> like, now it's a bunch of like. Well, me and Blake, evidently, since he's five eleven. Yeah, yeah, man. What are you talking about? Re- I know, but now it's a bunch of like real short dogs. Well, now you're like lowering the rim. Wait. Um, no, but I th- well, so, don't have know, to fine, dunk. Fine, fine, fine. Six feet. Yes, you do have to dunk. What the fuck are you talking about? But these people are dunking. You do need to lower the rim for sure. These people are Nate Robinson's dunking. Yeah, you need to lower yeah. the rim. That's true. That's an exceptional talent. Um, but I Nate think Robinson. that it would be, I think it would be probably a more exciting game than professional basketball because the big men. They're not as athletic as you what? would hope. Big men. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yes, big men. 69, dudes. They're known as big men. I thought you were a basketball player or a skater. I'm not sure. No. <laughs> go ahead. Go off. <laughs> the big men aren't that fun go to on, watch King. generally. They kind of are just like in the way. This is a weird take. Who's the most who's the most exciting big man outside of like the, Shaq? Well, he's promoting his new league, dude. Well, you just took mine. I know, but outside of Shaq, who's the most exciting big man to watch? Giannis? Mm. Yeah, okay. he's humongous. Enter the Kumpo? Yeah. Yeah, the guy's a giant. He's humongous. The freak. We got two out of a uh, hundred years. Kevin Durant? Yao Ming? Kevin Durant's not a big man, though. Blake Griffin? Yeah, pow. Okay. Pow. <laughs> I mean, all these guys are, see, the big man has changed. So now Kevin Durant is six foot 11. He's very tall. He ain't a big man, though. He's huge. He's huge. <clears throat> He's a shooting. He's a shooting forward. Can you describe what a big man is? <laughs> well, yes, but the game has changed. I feel like <laughs> old. A big man is like the dude in the commercials who has the big hands full of the Cheez-Its. <laughs> Who's like taco neck syndrome? Like Shaq? Yeah. <laughs> like, That's B- Boban Marjanovic. Boban. Boban <laughs> is a big man. He's not exactly exciting to watch. Yes. My giant. Who was the guy who was in My Giant? George M- M- uh, Billy Chris something <laughs> M- Mirasol Mir- M- Mir- <laughs> oh yeah what was that guy's name right it's George something it's M- Marisol <laughs> Marison <laughs> right I don't know I say on days mountain <laughs> Marison play basketball one time is that a Billy Crystal movie where he's yes. like leaning yes. against the guy yeah yes. on the right. cover so sick very good movie anyway <laughs> never seen the movie but I definitely know the cover <laughs> very good movie me neither me neither but very good <laughs> but what I'm saying is imagine if everybody on the floor could jump out the gym and shoot and it's not just about like I don't know, standing there and blocking. I don't know. It just seems like it would be that's you, a very exciting game. That's Can, WNBA. Well, I would love that. I would love that. I would love uh, under six feet basketball. Uh, we lower the hoops. They're now eight feet. <laughs> no, no, don't lower, don't lower the hoop. These people don't need, they don't need it lowered, Adam. These people are dunking. Hello. <laughs> you're out. <laughs> yeah, you're out. No, we're lowering the hoops. Hey. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is our sport. You're not part of it, Durs. You're too tall. You're six foot three. You're a big man. You're out. This isn't your sport. If you if you were more athletic, you could be in the NBA, but you're not. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Lowering them to what? Like nine no, feet, I, nine and a half feet. I took my talents to swimming. I just said. I said eight feet. <laughs> eight feet. You could, then you just have big men. No, you guys are just. If you lower the hoop, you just have another classification of big men, according to how Durs is exactly. You guys, you're completely ignoring slam ball. The sport is on fire right now, and you need to watch it. Stop. You need to watch slam ball. It, unless they're on rollerblades, I don't give a fuck. Is that the sport you're good at? Oh, basketball on rollerblades is actually fun. Basketball on yeah. rollerblades. Are you good at slam ball? <laughs> I'm great at slam ball. Did we find out the sport that Blake's good at? Slam ball? Yes. I'm going to be a yeah. slam ball all-star. Kyle... Get in the water. Fun. It's what is, it's like. What's the deal? What's up? Talk to me about it, bro. If you think your broke <laughs> your broke bag was bothering you before, Dude, get on a trampoline and try and launch. It's trampoline basketball, and you can like tackle and stuff. It's fucking mm -hmm. cool, dude. Oh yeah, no, I'm out. There's no fucking way, dude. That's gonna that's gonna kill my shit. Blake, does your back still hurt? Not for me. Yeah, my knees would explode. My hip would shatter. <laughs> my groin would tear in half. I will say the only time my back kind of hurts is when I'm on a trampoline. Blake, why are you dressed <laughs> like Jack Burton from Big Trouble in Little China right now? <laughs> what can I wear, Durs? Please explain to me what I can wear. We don't know. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> Honestly, this you can wear because I know where your heart is. I know where yeah. your heart is. Oh. Kurt Russell resides I in your valve. You See, that's dude. it. Your your whole scene is like <laughs> acting in comedy, dude. That's your whole scene. Mm -hmm. I want you to dress like movie characters every day. <laughs> I want you to be a cosplay dude of just 90s and 80s action comedies. <laughs> like, you can pull this off. What if I start wearing Joker makeup? Dur uh, sure. Well, why? <laughs> yeah, Blake is always in cosplay. Uh, either he's dressed as like a cool rock and roll dude or a skater or... That'd be fine. I what? have long hair. You guys are putting me in a box and I don't like it. What do you mean? No, we're not. We're just trying like to help you, you out. Actually, <laughs> no, please explain yourself. You're on a I Zoom, so explain. technically you are in a box for me. <laughs> why Why are you put in a box? <laughs> I don't need your help. All right? That's what I'm telling you guys. What's on the bottom <laughs> half of your outfit right now? What's the bottom half? What's on the box? <laughs> <laughs> What's the bottom half? Is it shorts or is it... Oh, basketball shorts. Is b-ball shorts? Umbro. Umbro. Okay. I, yeah. You did play soccer. He was a soccer player. All right. Okay, so I can wear that. Yeah. So, okay, so the, who's that guy from the bear? I will let you. Fit, funny actor. The, Jeremy uh, Allen White or what, what was that guy's name? You know, the he, the bear that... Tim Allen. Yes, he's, he's, he's hot. That new show, The Bear... Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you trying to look like him now? Because he's wearing a lot of tank tops lately. Here we go. Tank <laughs> tanks are hot. What the fuck? <laughs> and I've noticed, and he's considered the hot boy. And I could, I could see. Bro, we need paparazzi. I did see. I did see yesterday. It was like if you're gonna go on the picket lines, you gotta wear sleeveless shirts. I'm living in a nightmare. <laughs> I was out yeah. there with a tank top before him. You can check the timestamp. Go on Atiba's okay. Instagram. Okay. I rocked the tank top, and then Homeboy showed up in a tank top. I'm not saying he saw the post, but... Okay. And you guys do kind of look alike. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... We got to get Blake on the bear. He's very handsome. I'm well, except for the hair, obviously. The <laughs> hair is... Hairnet. No, dude. I think you're way more handsome than him, Blake. I think you're way hotter. Yeah. Really? Chicks dig him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's more sexy, but you are more handsome. Okay. He's more brooding. You're you're just a like a, a more likable, funny guy. He he's more like that intense. Yeah, I want to hear what. I, right. You know how women like guys that seem like they um are, are mean, are gonna kill themselves. Like he like he needs to be <laughs> saved. Yes, exactly. Yeah. He looks like yeah. Oh, like, really? Yeah. He looks like he's on the edge, and if you save him, then you win. He'll fuck your brains out. You win at life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like uh, he's deep in it. I want to hear his deep thoughts. You, I just kind of right. want you to be funny and act. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if you want to hear his deep thoughts. I think he's like standing on the edge of a cliff and you have to talk him down. And if you talk him down and then he marries you. Maybe you want to hear all his thoughts on God. I don't know. 
Uh, thank you. Or he dates you, he'll fuck your brains out. And that's why I think women like <laughs> right. it. Right. In like a passionate way. In like a passionate way. Passion. Yes. Like can't control yes. the passion. Passion everywhere. Passion, right. passion everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, passion all over your face. <laughs> There's passion all over the place. Yeah. You're yeah. saying women don't see that when they see me? Well, you're like a funny guy. You know what I mean? You're like... <laughs> no, I don't see it. I think women are saying that. Yeah, I think we don't... We're. They don't say, Blake... St- <laughs> It starts with the hair. I'll tell you what. It starts with the hair. It starts with... I don't... And none of us... None of us have that, Blake. None of us... <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Uh, None of us have the brooding, like, tough guy. Uh, right. <laughs> like, like, Kyle, Kyle, women would Adam like hit this. it on the head when he goes, he looks like he's about to cry, right? He's super tough seeming, but at the same time... Yeah. Like... Yeah, I, th- I think I have that. Something's going on. Those eyes are, are ready to cry. I think what? I have that. You guys don't think I have that? <laughs> or he's just stoned. He might be just stoned. You're like, you're not crying though. You're like bl- blubbering. Like, you're like, yeah. <laughs> right, right. I'm not tough. I'm not tough <laughs> when I cry. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You're 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 blubbering, but your <laughs> hands are bleeding because you just punched a bunch of drywall I that hurt, you're gonna uh, have to get fixed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hurt myself. I hurt myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You punch through a wall and then the next day you have to like drywall it up and repaint the room. Yeah. Right. This is yeah. real cr- Yeah, less like when when this dude smokes cigarettes, people are like, I wanna smoke. When people when people see you smoking, they're like, I gotta quit. I'm gonna end up like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did you see know. that dude at the Emmys last year smoking a ton of cigarettes. Like yes. Yeah. That bro smokes a lot of ciggies. And yeah. I wanted to smoke. Yes, I did. I wanted to fall back in. Yeah. After yeah, he kind of makes I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. And mm. uh now you want to. Loser. Watching him, I'm kind of like, maybe I should start smoking. It's kind of tight. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's never too late. You could have that chapter and you'd probably be all right. You could probably open up that chapter right now, dude. You got those, Adam? <laughs> dude, I had hard. Are we saying he's going to be, what is it? Time sexiest man of the year or who does who does the sexiest man of the year? Yeah, it's t- it's National Geographic's I, I don't. <laughs> most animalistic man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's People Magazine. You should know because I'm sure you subscribe to the magazine, Blake. Right. It's yeah, I'm sure. Vice, The Source, mm-hmm. Us Magazine, People Magazine, CC, CCS, Highlights Magazine. Right, 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 right. Yeah, CCS, US Magazine, mm-hmm. <laughs> US Magazine, uh, US. Uh, we got. Let's get. We got to get Blake on the bear. I feel like he could fit right in. Dude, there's a lot of homies yeah. on the bear too. And I've only watched two episodes, but Rich, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, you your homies it, with uh Lionel, right? Lionel, yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. It's so cool seeing him come up. Dude. Holler at your boys. Yeah, Lionel's the man. I Yeah, and he does a really great job uh on that show too. He's he was always a super Points. Points. really nice guy. And uh yeah. it's it's good to uh see him do as well as he's doing. Yeah. Man. And he's great on the show. Dude, him and him and Taco Travis on on Dave, he kills it too. All those they're doing all, it. All those young odd future cats getting in TV and just slaying it, dude. I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They were, they, but get your boy on the bear, man. Lawyer squad, squad up. <laughs> we got we got to get you on the bear. We'll get you in there. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm stoked on that. Yeah. Well, we're not in charge, Durs. We can't just put him on the bear. <laughs> like that. Where? Yeah. Dude, Durs. Yeah, I'm probably probably not shooting right Come now. On. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you didn't know I could do that. <laughs> oh. aye, aye, aye. You gotta make some phone calls. You can end the strike, dude. You? Yeah. You think you got pitch perfect <laughs> without me? <laughs> okay. You made a few calls. You made a few calls. Ay, ay, ay. Damn, dude. <laughs> Please don't stop the music. Damn. Um, n- hey, uh, uh, so <laughs> Norway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how was your trip? Yeah, dude. How was it? I-, I-, I went and I mostly want. Yeah, let's get into it. Dude, you went to the the Fajard land. I went to my 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 homeland and I basically want to pick up where we left off. I don't know when, how many weeks ago it was because mm-hmm. Blake had just been shitting his brains out and barfing his shit, his shit out. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. Yes. You hit the flight and you were fucking like bugged out. Oh, that's right. And I was like, well, guess what? And my family 
two of my kids just went through that in the last 48 hours, and I'm mm-hmm. about to fly to Norway. Mm-hmm. Let's see how it goes. Oh, shit. Did you catch it? Did you get it on the plane? So yeah. we get on the plane. Yep. Here we go. We're listening. Is it, it was a, So we did um, LA to, to Finland, to Helsinki, and then Helsinki Baller. to Oslo. And so that's a 10-hour flight Whoa. from L.A. to Helsinki. Yeesh. And so Woo. we're watching movies. Yeah. The kids are, like, doing their thing. Uh, they start falling asleep. I stay up because I'm just like, whatever. Hey, because you're partying. <laughs> Fucking watching movies. And uh, Emma, Emma's in her little cube with uh, the baby. And then she comes by and she's like, ah, I don't feel good. I'm like, oh, shit. No. So she spends the entire night on the airplane in the bathroom. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no. Red light. Nobody else can use it. And I'm like, this fucking sucks. This sucks. Oh, my God. Worst ever. Then we land. We get to Oslo. And we get in this, like, van that was going to take us to our Airbnb. And in the van, I I had taken two barf bags from the plane because I was just like, "Uh, I don't know if she's going to barf again. I don't know what's happening. We get in the van within like 15, 20 minutes of this 30 minute drive. I'm like, oh no. Just getting that hot mouth. I pull the bag out and I just go, (laughs) just barf in this bag. Jeez, dude. I haven't gotten sick like that in like since you're a kid that's that's wild it hit so hard and by the way so it only lasts like eight hours like kids yeah it's crazy kids had it over wife had it over i had it for like 36 hours of just like deep oh my god deep barfing where like my abs were getting shredded so vacation kind of ruined no 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 because i was there for nine days like at least the first like day and a half yeah First day and a half were bad. Dude, did you get your did you get your sixer back? You got your six pack back? What's up? Yeah. Were you looking hot? Yeah. Fully jacked. Yeah. Dude. Fuck yes. Um You were looking shredded? Yeah. But so then flu abs are so hot. Did Oslo, hot. did Bergen, which is like a more like uh <sighs> port town type place, and it was fucking sick. Did went on a fjord tour. Yeah, what is the what is the vibe of of Norway? Fjord, fjord tour. Yeah, what is Norway's deal? Uh the vibe is uh, people don't talk to you. <laughs> um, okay, cool. I like that. Yeah, right. It's okay. like very cold, <laughs> blue eyed, blonde haired, yeah. kind of beautiful, stern, beautiful people. Yeah, a lot of that. A lot of me looking at people being like, ah, I'm. We look the same. This is crazy. Um, <laughs> we took a train through a town <laughs> where my great great grandparents are from which was pretty rad to be like there it is there's people here who are maybe my like fifth cousins or whatever wow. just like that's wild at their shoe cobblery i'm just kidding <laughs> i don't know what the fuck it is <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> um, you know they probably work at a fucking video game store gamestop <laughs> uh but that was pretty weird yeah they're at gamestop you know that's cool <laughs> we um, Os- Oslo. <laughs> yeah, so were, were people kind of uh, cold? Everyone yeah, minds their business. You know. it, what it's, do you it's mean? Not, they're, like, they're not the warmest people. So there's not a lot of, not a lot of like, hey, how are there's you? There's no pleasantries, really. That's like um, you. Everyone's, yeah, it's, it answers everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is cool. Everyone's just matter of fact. Yeah, cold, ice cold. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Cut you to your core. I yeah, kept yeah. seeing people strangling cats, and I was like, okay, all right, now we're home. <laughs> Whoa, my people. Home. Uh, all right. Yeah, that seems like a Durs thing, yeah. Um, the food, the Norwegian food, not for everyone. What is it? The, oh. Yeah, what kind of food? I mean, it's a lot of like- Fish balls? It's just bread and sausages and fish. Um, Ooh. That doesn't sound too bad. Fish soup, right? What is this? Vunta Kraken? What was the shit that we had in- yeah, I could. and not like spicy. Well, Adam, but like not like you like like a blackened fish or something with a little something on it. There's uh-huh. nothing on sure. it. They pickle their fish. Was well, just a white fish, like a pickle. white fi- white pickled fish. It's a bagel. Yeah, they're they're pickling fish. Yeah, I'd eat that though. Yeah, you're from the Midwest. I feel like it might be in your palate. What is that? Like a sardine is a pickled fish. Yeah. Is that a is that a pickled fish? That's right. 
Yeah. Or is it like um, gefilte fish or something? Yeah, I guess so. It's like pickled herring. Yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. That's um, gross. That's disgusting. Oh, uh, dude. I th- I think it sounds horrible, but I actually think I dig it. No, yeah. man. I would throw like, up. Yeah, dude. I mean, all all food, Tearing if you me. just go like all food's delicious, just yeah. then then it is, you know? But so, well, but think about this, though. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> like, uh, like, think about- Winning. Yeah, if you're just in a cool country and you try their delicacies, it's like, yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's delicious. Not, but it's not even a delicacy. It's not like, hey, this is our life. It's, it's like, this is just Tuesday- and like eating it four days a week or something would be a lot. Basically, Italian food has taken over. Like, oh, damn, sure. Bucca de Pepo? Everything is pasta. Yeah, they just figured it out. They're like, uh, have you had spaghetti? It's actually fucking <laughs> gangster. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's really good. Yeah, dude. Spaghetti's hella good. <laughs> that's how, that's how, uh, living in berlin was like it was like we were like want to seek out like real german food right it's tough. and the f- couple times we did were like i i ordered like the beef whatever and it was just a bowl of soup with like beef in it and i'm right, like right. oh this isn't all right this is kind of just like wet <laughs> and they're like, uh-huh and <laughs> And then I was like, oh, does German food, does it kind of suck? And everyone was like, yeah, no, for sure. This sucks. Like, yeah, <laughs> right. There, there's great food. There, now it's like every other type of food is there. Yeah. And, yeah. They're, and they're like, like no, we're, we're eating Japanese food. Like there was a really good sushi restaurant right across the street. And you're like, oh, all right. A lot of sushi. Yeah. A lot of sushi. Dude, what's up with Europe coming hella weak to food game? That's like. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we just explained that Italian food is pretty good. and That is Europe, yeah. isn't it? Damn. I would say Northern uh-huh. Europe, yeah. uh, the palate is just not very uh, accustomed to spicy. You know, they just did like bland potatoes, bread, fish. Yeah, it's not. That's gross. Probably not a lot of gastrointestinal diseases. And have you ever been to uh, Italy, Blake? Or just br- briefly, you went uh, to visit Kyle in when he was shooting in Monaco, right? Yes, I went to Italy, and it was or not Monaco uh, to Lake Como. No, we were at we were at Como. Yeah, mm, Did yeah. You, come, you were in Como, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was unreal. No, co- no Como. Yeah, it was unreal. It was it was amazing. Mm. No Como. No, mm-hmm. I went to Como. Dude, the food in Italy is it's <laughs> so unreal. How it's I got to get there. It's so much better at the like just the most basic random place that you swing in for lunch where you're like, Seven ah, Eleven. Fuck, I, we'll just grab some food here. No, it's and good. it's so much better pizza, than like pizza. the best Italian food you've had here in America. Right. Yeah. It's like it's wild. just. Yeah, man. Carb up. It's you got to get them carbs where they're not afraid yeah. of carbs. Dude is yummy as fuck. Let's go. Dude, it's, it's all yeah. al dente <laughs> out there. Well, sure. But I mean, you can Relax. have carbs at pizza, a pizza. nice pizza. Italian just restaurant chill. here in the States and it won't be as good tasting as no, the most the regular <laughs> restaurant in no, Italy. That's true. For whatever yeah, reason, true. they that's just good. nail it over there. Well, they take their time every time I had. I mean, they would take their time in the kitchen over there in Italy, right? I mean, like, yeah. that shit's pizza, not coming pizza. out very quick. You're sitting there. I like to tell a waiter, hey, make sure they make it with love in there, all right? <laughs> yeah, no, you're sitting there. Mm. You really are. You're sitting there for a while. Like, you're not, not even popping it. in and getting a fucking meal. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't pop in and get a 30-minute meal in Italy. <laughs> That's not happening. Mm. Dude, the cheeseburger big bites take no fucking coma. forever to make. <laughs> no como. <laughs> it's gross, man. Yeah, you got to chill, bro. You got to chill. Pizza. Let the kitchen do their thing. Yeah. I got to get to Italy. Yeah, Italy's fire. So I got to get to Italy. Yeah, the fact that you've never been to Italy is is kind of bizarre. I feel like that needs to be your next vacay. Yeah, what's up? It is, uh, it's my favorite place for sure, dude. Yeah, you got to do Norway. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't go to, I I had to do Norway. I had to do Norway and get that off the. Yeah, what's, so wait, what's the verdict on Norway? Is it past? Bergen. So here's the deal. Also, Oslo, which is like the major city. Was a little sleepy because I think during the summer everybody jets to everywhere else in Europe or to like the country Goodbye. house, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so it was a little sleepy, but Bergen was fucking cool. Bergen had a vibe. Remember how we went to Sydney and you're like, "Oh, this is beautiful," but it didn't have the same. It didn't have a vibe like um, uh, Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne had a vibe. Yeah, uh, that felt a little. Yeah. Oh yeah, Melbourne, baby. Yep. Bergen had a cool vibe, and I enjoyed that. So, did, I mean, what was it like traveling with all the kids? Was that just sort of mayhem? It was an uh, absolute nightmare. Um, <laughs> it's got to be, dude. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you're you're also throwing up, and Emma's throwing up, so that can't can't make it better. Yeah, right. But it was just like fucking bananas. Like halfway through <laughs> the trip, I just I'm like I'm yelling at them constantly. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. <laughs> nothing. Are you really? Drop it. Uh, a little bit, like, because they don't give a shit about any. Yeah, they don't give a shit about any culture. So they're not like, they're just like, oh, an old place. Cool. Like, cool, do they Dad. care? No, Arnie is deep into, Arnie's deep into history and military history. We went to a military history, a uh, military museum um, that talked about like a lot about World War II. He's obsessed with that. He's like mm-hmm. this, he loves Hitler. Um, <laughs> pizza, pizza. Uh? <laughs> yeah, huge Hitler fan. Dude, World War II is crazy, bro. World War II is yeah. nuts. <laughs> no, but he loves that. And Norway's all about how they like tried to fight the Nazis, but like, you know, I don't know. They tried. <laughs> they give it a shot. D- yeah, they just didn't do a good job. And Hitler's <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? I'm you carte blanche. You guys are good to go. And they're like, yeah, yeah. Well, don't worry. You're you're in with me. I we hey, we appreciate that. <laughs> we just don't like your vibe. You're very loud. Yeah. We're we're quiet Hitler, here. Yeah, you suck. His vibe was pretty whack. Dude. Yeah. yeah. His vibe was in- a lot of shouting. <laughs> yeah. Admittedly, I I think that's kind of a universal thing when it comes to Hitler, is that yeah. his vibe is whack. It was off. Yeah. It was it was off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little funky. Yeah, it was it was a it was a whack vibe, I feel. <laughs> Bro um, was a poser, man. <laughs> but so yeah. trying to be Charlie Chaplin and shit. Get out of here. Dude. My kid yeah. loves the the dictator. Um, and they're actually doing a live, they're doing Charlie Chaplin's dictator on like their Broadway or whatever there. Anyway. Um, so they, Ooh, Broadway, Broadway. Oh, really? That's fucking cool. I bet that's hella funny. They liked it, but I'm like, we're in a foreign country. You're like running around like that's a street. Cars are driving. Like, yeah, just yelling and shaking my baby. Um, Stop you know, crying. <laughs> it yeah, seems... Yeah. I'll make, I'll make you cry. Trying to control Fucking the situation, dude. Sucks. Yeah, It seems kind of nuts to take three Hard kids all the way over there. Did you come? But and but I'll be honest, they were so good. Okay. But like, oh, good. they just didn't, they were good. They weren't like bad. They just weren't listening to me about like things that could mm. be dangerous, right? If we're going on like Stop a hike. That. Also, I mean, as a father, you're probably on like high alert being in another space and trying to like watch them and say... You know, right? Yeah, that's stressful. Always. The whole time where you're like, God, we're so American. Like, shut up. We're so loud right now. No one else is loud. No, because I I put on these um, super short Norwegian shorts that I was wearing. (laughs) So I I felt like I fit right in. There you go, buddy. (laughs) Yeah, That's so tight. Good job. Did you guys do any like cool like... Shout out Amundsen. They make the best stuff. What about like, um, because when I think of Norway, I think of like Norwegian, like black metal and stuff. Did you guys do any, anything along those lines? Like church burning or? Yeah. I took my children to. uh, Yeah. Did you take the kids to any uh, Norwegian death metal uh, where they sacrifice a person? Yeah. We just one goat sacrifice. (laughs) And we were like, this is cool. Uh, No, I think that Norwegian black metal is kind of like. um, For dorks. (laughs) What is the equivalent? It's just kind of like clickbaity. Like I don't think it's a big deal there. Really? But I, but well, I think it's, it's like, like baby metal. It sounds funny. like a cool thing, and it, they export it to us, and we're like, oh yeah. Uh, but I, it's, I don't think it's a big deal there. And then my po- my poser ass was like, yeah, dude, that's what it's all about. Fuck. Well, yeah, because mm-hmm. it sounds very like specific, and you know. But yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. Definitely read about it in Vice. That is right. where I got introduced to it. <laughs> yeah. But they said you know. they like burn churches and shit. It sounded kind of crazy. What do you mean, dude? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> and that's what you loved about it, Blake? You yeah. know? I mean, uh, I don't Yeah, what's up? What what's No, I think I think it was like uh you what's... know, it's it's almost as we have militias, right? But like obviously not everybody's in a militia. Like, and you don't really know anyone that's in a militia. But you know that they're there and they live. What's the rap music that they're doing now where they're just calling people out in the songs? 
and like oh drill drill like like chicago drill i don't expect anybody to come to america and be like and i took the kids to a drill music show <laughs> and uh it was actually pretty cool <laughs> Uh, glow gang uh, dude they love cheap keef he's really accessible not as big as <laughs> we've made it out to be mm, yeah um, so drill music blake explain <laughs> that to me because i don't really know that they just call people out what do you mean being like um blake's a bitch fuck him yeah it's kind of like it's basically like rapping about like the murders you've done in your neighborhood it's oh. all just like and the ones you want to that, do and then posting yeah, that yeah. on social yeah hoping or hope like basically posting on social so they see it and then the police like listen to this and go like yes. okay well now we yes well that seems stupid though it's been a whole thing but lawyers are like you can't it's an art form they're just uh rapping about it it's not real yeah yeah. Oh, it's that fucking loophole. And it's right. it's a whole thing now. Yeah. It's okay. But then crazy. it ends up being real, and then these guys end up going to prison. Uh, some of them. I think some people have been arrested because of it, and that's the yeah. reason why I won't start doing it. I just am yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> good, smart. Yeah, I agree. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Our, yeah. That's what's holding me back. Our pod is kind of a drill pod, but it's like we just throw the allegedly on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I put those short shorts on, dude, the drill Allegedly. vibe just kind of squirt, squirts out of me. Yeah, you were going to get drilled. Yeah. We just we just sort of call out uh, uh, teenage pop stars that we're having yeah. beef with. Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. You I mean, this podcast is like a drill pod for sure. Yeah, it's drill pod. Uh -huh. This is a drill pod. And by the way, anybody out there who's associated with drill music, don't... Please don't kill us. Please don't hurt us. I promise you we're harmless. Yeah. We're fine. Yeah, we're just joshing. Yeah, it's, just a, out here it's joshing. a show. Yeah. And we we probably like you. We probably like your music. We probably I'm think not. you're cool. Blake yeah. for sure does. Blake is on board. Yeah. I'm not strapped. I know I said I was strapped. I'm not strapped. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna come I'm gonna come clean, y'all. I'm not yeah. strapped. I don't own any straps. I'm yeah. I'm a really nice guy. Oh my god! I'm a really nice guy. I'm just a poser. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. Real talk. <laughs> no. Halfway through the trip, I was just like, I don't think my kids listen to me. I'm like a bad dad. All I do is go like, Hey, just guys, get, get over here now. <laughs> like, I just am trying to like be sweet and nice, and then I like lose it. It's so hard. It's so hard. So was it just you and Emma? Did you have anyone else? Did you have anyone else there to help take care of the kids? Because I feel like that's the move is you no. need to take like, uh, yeah. No, no family. Well, we've done that. Yeah, we did that. Durs, we did that. We did that in Hawaii where we had a week with family. And that was dope because like the older kids were taking care of the little kids and we were yeah. all mm -hmm. able to sit around and talk. Then we stayed another week, just me and my wife and the two kids. And it was actually fucking hard, dude. Yeah. It's yeah. like got no this relief reality check um yeah, yeah. yeah i mean real... we brought our nanny places we brought family places and it's always terrific and uh right. we couldn't do it without them but then we were just like this is what people do yeah they fly yeah, first class to europe yeah. and uh <laughs> deal with stuff no you know like Cancel. obviously obviously there was like terrific aspects Older. of the trip that like uh aren't, aren't normal or whatever but like we were just like i feel like we can do this on our own mm -hmm. yeah. and we were wrong we were wrong <laughs> Well, you did it, yeah. though. Hey, I'm going to give you a... Uh, we did it. Yeah, you did yeah, it. You did it. Yeah. You did it. It's yeah. not easy, not easy at all, and you made it through. Good job. Yeah, and it was very cool to, like, we took the kids around to, like, the street signs. A lot of them are named after people, much like here, and mm -hmm. we they would, like, see their names on the walls and shit. And oh, that's like, cool. Oh, shit, that's tight. That's dope. Let's steal it. Yeah, yeah. So, that's yeah, cool. no, you don't steal it, because then they'd beat the <laughs> shit out of you in the streets yeah. and go, you are an example. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what? yeah, what is punishment out there? Is it pretty strict? It's death. You have to listen to death metal. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Death metal, I that's it. what it uh, is. No, I think actually the, so there's the, like, there was the, like, mass murderer dude who, like, killed 100 people at that <laughs> summer camp a few years ago who oh yeah I believe is the only person who's ever gotten a life sentence. But other than that, I think... They're super deep into rehabilitation. And I think the max sentence, uh, this was on like a fucking Vice News maybe. Yeah, of like a, Like the max sentence is like 11 years. Really? And basically you just go to a farm and they're like, right. dude, here, just grab this. We need you to pull that plow, like help us out. And they just kind of rehabilitate people by giving them like purpose and 
like hmm. slave labor. It's super, but it's yeah. like you're you're doing something, Tight. like you're you're contributing, and you leave there being like, ah, I I want to be of service out there too. I want to get back to society. Interesting. Yep. I don't. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but like you know, it's different than America. America's just fucking a little wilder, a little crazier here. Hey, we're crazy. Yeah. Wild Wild West, baby. Get in the box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but th there's like a lot of like whatever happened to that serial killer that he like had multiple like uh like torture chambers underneath his house. The guy that looked exactly like you. Yeah. This guy this guy? Uh that that is a little <laughs> Oh yeah. That dude. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that that man. Wait, Wait, no, no, yeah. The man that looked I, almost identical to Anders who <laughs> murdered tons of people. He never he didn't get the life sentence? No, he just had a he That was not he's not Norwegian. That's he, uh oh, he's from Germany, he I think. Or Austria? Oh. Austrian. I think he was oh. Austrian. Yeah, he had uh maybe Austria. Yeah. Hang on, let me okay. let me check the, the biography. <laughs> Like seventeen <laughs> doors or whatever he had. Let me just let me he just flip to, through. He had a basement family. Quick. He had a yeah. basement family, and it was uh, really crazy. <laughs> By the way, I remember talking about this in the room. I'm being like eighteen doors, right? <laughs> like six, six four, is, eighteen yeah. doors. Like who at Home Depot? So selling this guy doors <laughs> <laughs> was like not. Yeah, like I think he's Another part of the door. problem. <laughs> so, so to re rehash this story, explain it because I I really don't remember. It was like <laughs> right on time, so topical. I don't remember either, but a guy looked like uh, yeah. me and had like a inbred family in his basement behind eighteen doors. <laughs> yeah, has the whole world gone crazy? No, this was this years guy. ago. This was like ten yeah. years ago. Yeah, so it was a Saw movie. Saw movie underneath Here, his house. Yeah, it, it Durs looks exactly like him. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly like him. Yes, exactly like him. And we'll we'll put another picture next to the yeah. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's saw a movie. The dude like dug out a basement and so he would he would like fuck a a woman impregnate her and then raise the kids and then like fuck the kids. Is that what was happening down there? Yes, rinse, repeat. Yes, Ugh. yeah, it was. It was, oh what? No. it was bad. It was bad. No, dude. no, I'm sorry. He would not even rinse. He would not yeah, even he was, rinse. He was Satan. Yeah, we got to find out what happened to that man. Because where are they uh, now? You have to. You have <laughs> to put happened? him down. If yeah. He's just like on a farm somewhere. <laughs> nah. No, dude. They they gave him 11 years. They let him grow cucumbers, and they're like, he's all right now. <laughs> no, no. He, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. just uh, raise some uh, cherry tomatoes and uh, and <laughs> they so away. He can't go to Home Depot. All right, no more doors for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, no more doors for you, buddy. I, yeah, that's the one place he's banned. From. <laughs> You're banned. I do love that he gets out in ten years, goes to Home Depot, and he's like, uh, "Can I get any doors?" And they're like, oh, "Okay, <laughs> welcome back. Door? Just <laughs> let's get you these batteries and you get the hell hey, out of here." Best customer. <laughs> Look who it is. Hey, doorman. <laughs> Hey, doorman. Doorman. <laughs> you know, <laughs> after 18 doors, I thought, no one has ever bought as many doors as this guy. <laughs> anyway, let's ring you up this chainsaw. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's a lot of tape. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of That's tape, That's a my lot guy. of rope, brother. Hey, yeah. tape well. man. <laughs> They keep giving him awards at the hardware store for buying the yeah. most amount of tape and, uh, right. and rope and, ropes. and doors. All right. Huh. Hey. Huh. All right. Uh, hey, you don't need to take my photo. No, no one has ever bought 18 doors before. Hey, uh, got a hey boss, uh, you know the door guy we're not supposed to sell doors to? Yeah, of course. Is he here? Yeah, he's trying to buy a door. No, no, he... Um, He's trying to buy windows. Can we do windows? Hey, can we do windows? Can we do right. windows? I don't know if we can do windows. They're kind know. of doors. For They're just sky sure. doors. <laughs> can we do that? Yeah. Transparent doors. Yeah. Huh. Uh, you might have found a hole. Yeah. In Let's the sell them three. Doors. Let's max them out at three. Hey, uh, so my boss said we can give you three windows. That's it. I need 18. Okay. That's not enough. That's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to cut it. <laughs> yeah, I need 18 door windows. <laughs> I'm going to need 18. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that he wants doorknobs. Can we give him doorknobs? He's buying planks of wood and doorknobs. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Fine. No hinges. It's kind of no a gray hinge, area. Yeah. No hinges. No hinges. Okay. No hinges. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Off the hinges. Uh, off the hinges. Well, guys, is there any take backs, any apologies? <laughs> wow, it's off the hinges. Yes. That's where it comes from, right? It's off the hinges, Blake. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry we brought up this guy, but uh, I, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to apologize for bringing this guy up. Nobody wants to apologize to me. I'm just going to apologize to him. Dark comedy, you know? Dark comedy rocks, bro, you know? No, not too much. Yeah, I'm sorry to the skating community for perpetrators. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the <laughs> hell? It's just fun. It's just fun. Yeah, and I'm I'm sorry for anyone that like uh, <laughs> is a musician. Uh, I'm sorry that Blake's trying to steal your your style. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I want to give a shout uh, out to all my fellow cosplayers out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll see you at the next Comic Con. <laughs> I'm ju I'm doing my best out here. Shout out CCS. <laughs> yeah, your your skateboard <laughs> rock and roll Comic Con. Mm, no, oh, yeah. Blake, I'm gonna give you some grace, bro. You keep Thank going you. until you find who you are. Thank and you, then man. I can't wait to yeah. be there and watch that person soar. Well, right? Life's a journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Life's a journey. Well, well said. Yeah. Huh? Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, moment yeah. of grace. That's a moment of grace for Blake. <laughs> um, Thank you. I'm sorry Thank to the you. audience for eating earlier. Daddy hungry. Dude. Okay. Daddy oh, hungry. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I was bummed. I was bummed. I'm hungry you. too right now. I didn't think Me I was too. gonna be. You can just eat. All you have to do is yeah. apologize, and it's like a get out of jail free card. I don't have any food. Yeah. Then it's it's like it's like being a Christian, if, or it's like being <laughs> mm -hmm. a Catholic. You just yeah. you're you know you talk to the priest and say, hey, I did a ton of nasty shit. You just lock up your family, fuck them in the basement. <laughs> you talk. You talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the hand. Yeah, and I then eat you get because I'm on hot Hey, you yeah, know what? Let's no. give a shout out here to Liquid Death. Um, okay. I would love, please, Liquid Death, send me some stuff. I'm drinking an armless Palmer. Very funny. You guys used to send us stuff. And um, whatever happened, to us. we missed that. Yeah. Once I we love free stuff. You don't anymore. And we don't. Oh, I went to the town of Voss, and guess what? I didn't drink there. Voss water. water? Voss water. I was it. like, we're for sure going to get some Voss water. No, I didn't blow it. The restaurant we <laughs> ate at where I had nachos, they blew it. <laughs> yeah, but did you get like tap water? Because if you got tap water, that's Voss water. Because technically that that is Voss water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah. got it, dude. Got it. I guess I, guess I technically it? did have Voss. Was it delicious? Was the water it was wet. It was wet. But as Adam would say, all the same. <laughs> Oh yeah, all tastes the same. It's all, the it's same. all fine. Thank you, God. It's all fine. Shout out to the rain, uh, reindeer burger. Hose water tastes the exact same as Dasani. That's the exact same as hose Aquafina. water. Hose water, it tastes different. Hose water is underrated. Hose mm. water is all really fine. underrated. It's all just tastes like water. Well, hose water rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah hose dude. water rocks. These hoes got water. I'm having so much fun. I don't want to say goodbye. <laughs> You don't have to say goodbye. Well, I would love to eat lunch. I didn't eat on the pod, so I'm going to eat after the podcast. That's so uh, okay. that was another episode of This, this, this is, is Important. important. important.